मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ चारू महाजन यू आर कंप्यूटर टीचर वेलकम टू द कंप्यूटर सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज शिफ्ट फाइव दैट इज इंक्सकेप विच इज यूज फॉर वेक्टर डिजाइनिंग यू आर वेरी मच फेमिलियर विद द इंक्सकेप या आई नो यू नो ऑल अबाउट द डिजाइनिंग सॉफ्टवेयर बट दिस इज one of the software which is an open source drawing tool yeah that means you can download it for the free and you can create your own presentation basically inkscape is used for uh, making logos and technical illustrations a vector designing software that means uh mm-hmm. it works with the pixels like other drawings coral draw illustrator in skip offers the creation of the basic shapes it manipulates with the shapes it transform the shapes and then creates the logos and the illustrations it's very interesting now how to start it it's very simple if you have downloaded it and installed on your system then you can just click on the start button from the menu and navigate for the inkscape or you can just write the inkscape in your search button and you can have the software in front of you just click on the icon and it will just get started now when you start the inkscape its interface is something like which you can see on the screen is like that you get the one page which is known as the document page yes of course whatever work you want to print you have to do in the particular page you can have the things uh, in the side of the page also but that is not the printable area that is the canvas which is which help you in drawing your objects yes that means you can draw it anything in any size and then you can adjust the thing according to the size given yes of course it can be adjusted in the page yeah that's true i know you all are very well uh, familiar with these interfaces because some of the things in the interfaces very common with the other softwares as the title bar the menu bar the ruler and the toolbox but some tools are very different in it as you know we can use different tools for um transferring the shape mm-hmm. in the inkscape so let's get familiar with the toolbox the first tool is the select tool which is used to transfer in the objects added path by nodes that means it provides the nodes uh suppose i have created a square and i just want it in the round edges with the round edges then i can use the nodes to edit the edges in the rounded shape other than the uh, pointed edges of the square i just convert it into the rounded edges zoom tool you you are very familiar it with it zoom in and zoom out for that you can press f3 also all the shortcuts are given in the bracket uh, these are very useful while working you can uh, directly press these shortcuts for the tool or you can uh, select them by clicking on the tools but if you click on the tools it will just ask you to uh, confirm the selection of the tool and then it will start working now how can we use the first tool which is the selection tool we just uh, get uh, three methods for selecting the things whatever uh, object we want to select we can select these object with the mouse or the keyboard you have to place your mouse pointer on the object and click on it you can select more than one object at a time with the selection tool you can select the multiple objects with the select tool in the different ways you can press the shift key and then click on the different objects it will select the multiple objects or what you can do is you can uh, draw a mark queue around more than one object and it will select the objects covered by the mark queue 
all together yes mark you is nothing else it's a rectangle it's a dotted rectangle uh, when you uh, drag the mouse by clicking on it and you just drag the mouse over the uh, objects it will create a mark you on them and it will select them resizing the shapes that means you can change the size size very easily with the arrow handles when you select the thing it will provide you the arrow handles and these arrow handle uh, are used to change the size of the shapes of the object which you have drawn in the screen now how can you move after the selecting the object you can just drag it to the new location it will move from one place to another rotating object it's really very interesting whenever you create some drawing uh, sometimes you have to rotate it suppose i have created a triangle and i want to make a star uh, what i can do is i just make a triangle stand, uh, <coughs> on the pointed edge on the top side but if i want to make the star i just copy it and paste it again and just rotate it its pointer head pointing head i just make it downwards and put it on the figure so it just look like a star so by rotating the objects and for rotating you just have to use the select tool which you have to double click on that you have to after selecting the object you have to click again the object and it will change the arrow heads again that's all for this session thank you everyone i hope you will understood the concept yeah this is the basic information about the inkscape this chapter is very basic and hope you have understood the concept so it's time to leave bye everyone thank you